Honorable viewers, I welcome all of you to my YouTube channel, Department of English. Today's topic is Lang and Parole. So let's get started. Lang, meaning language, and Parole, meaning speaking. Lang and Parole are linguistic terms distinguished by Ferdinand de Saussure in his course in general linguistics. Lang encompasses the abstract systematic rules and conventions of signifying system. It is independent of and pre-exists individual users. Lang involves the principles of language without which no meaningful utterance. Parole would be possible. Parole refers to the concrete instance of the use of language. This is the individual, personal phenomenon of language as a series of speech acts made by a linguistic subject. Saussure did not concern himself overly with parole. However, the structure of Lang is revealed through the study of parole. The distinguish is similar to that made about language by Wilhelm von Humboldt between energy, active doing, and ergon, the product of that doing, as well as the distinction between language and speech made by John Bodian de Cartini. Saucer drew an analogy to cease to explain the concept of lang and parole. He compared Lang to the rules of chess, the norms for playing the game, and compared the moves that an individual chooses to make, the individual's preferences in playing the game to the parole. So let's see contents. Lang, parole as a function, number four, cause in general linguistics, and number five, influence. Lang. When translated from the French term lang can mean language. However, it is known saucer intended the term to mean internal arrangement and relationship of rules understood by a social group. However, rarely thought of in everyday life. Lang is believed to be an universal structure and while it may have variations as seen in foreign language, it follows a set of principal linguistic patterns. Parole Parole, typically when it is translated means speech. Saucer, on the other hand, intended for it to mean both the written and spoken language as experienced in everyday life. It is the phrases, utterances, and use of lang. Therefore, parole unlike Lang, is as diverse and varied as the number of people who share a language and the number of utterances and attempts to use that language. Furthermore, parole is known to have been changed and manipulated by a number of causes, for example, time, social groups, and age of users. As a function, the underlying basis to Lang is the interpretation that it is made up of signs and not sentences. Signs are thought to have a two parts aspect in that each sign relates a nation, notion with a sound pattern or a written symbol. As, as a sign cannot exist as a single part for if there is a sound pattern without a notion, the sound becomes only noise. Similarly, a notion cannot be communicated without a sound pattern. The sound pattern for each notion can be extremely diverse and vice versa. For example, the notion of oneself many use the sound patterns of I or me while the sound pattern of rose 
may have the notion of a floor or the past of rise. The notion or sound pattern remains unchanged even if the other changes. It is by understanding the relationship of the two parts of sign through length that uh, the gist of communication of parole may be understood. Without the understanding of length, parole would be meaningless sounds or symbols grouped together hem have haphazardly. Sorcerer used the example of Xis to explain how Lang and Pearl work together. Lang is the normative rules in a Xis game while Pearl represents the individual suits of moves. If one were to study the Pearl of Xis game an understanding could be derived but it would not be a universal understanding of says. However, by studying the lang of a says game the derived understanding may be applicable to further says games. Thus, Saucer argued when studying language, especially a foreign language, it is more important to understand the lang then to gain a large vocabulary of parol so that sense may be made equal to that of native speaker. Now I am going to discuss course in general linguistics. Chaucer Chaucer did not publish his notes in relation to linguistics and lang and parol. Unfortunately, course the uh, the linguistic General was published after his death in 1916, later translated into English in 1959 as Course in General Linguistics, and was made up of remaining lecture notes by Sorcerer. Course notes provided to students and notes taken by former students of his lectures uh, he, propound, he performed between 1907 to 19. 11 in Geneva. This was then published by two of his former challenges, colleagues Charles Valley and Albert Scalier. Scalier. It was after this publication that the importance and revolutionary nature of commentaries and critics of both the course in general linguistics and original notes made by Saucer have prevailed mass controversy over time. One controversy is that many ideas and notions often accredited to Saucer may have been brought from other linguistics and professors of the 19th century. Saucer's idea of language as a sign system had been proposed by other philosophers. However, he will always be known to have provided a strong theoretical basis for a scientific approach to understanding language as a whole. Influence Saucer's Lang and Parole from one of the theoretical foundations of structure religion. Lang and Parole have allowed structuralists to separately examine the broad structure and formations of literary, of literary as well as the individual words. Structuralists accept this by making a distinction within literary works between the words on a page and the context behind this odds lang. Although the reader may appear to simply by reading the words in a book, their ability to understand or possibly misunderstand. The text, text is a result of a person's knowledge of the lang or rules of a certain language. Similarly, lang and parole have been highly in influential in the study of the science. Termed semi uh, semiotics, Saucer's most notable influence one semiotics was his belief that the rules and codes of language lang, are vital in interp 
creating and gaining an understanding of that language system. While individual utterances parole are of little significance, this belief is echoed by Noam Chomsky's distinction between competence and performance. I will discuss obviously next video. Lang and parole have also impacted the way language is taught. Since sources terms have become well known, language teaching often emphasizes teaching the language and how these rules are applied. Rather than simply teaching the words of a certain language. Additionally, Lang and Parole have been applied to other fields of study. Anthropologist Cloud Levy Stress used structuralism and Lang and Parole to understand maths, myths and tales with, within a broader context. In this case, Parole is a single tale or myth while Lang is considered the broader range of tales and myths from within a series or group. This may be myths from the same community, time period or geographical location. So that's all about Lang and Parole for the timing. Thanks for patience here and bye bye.